this one we're doing old Daytona with the 87 Monte Carlo. And uh, yeah, just kind of get hang out, kind of get a quick impression. All right, and people get after me for using the small wheel. So we're going to use my big round one. Initial impression is the car is fun. I know I've watched people try to race in a group and uh, they have a hard time with it. When the car moves around like this, you kind of have to plan your moves and be ready to react. Car kind of falls into the corner. I don't know, I like it. Car falls into the corner again, gets a little loose. Again, trying to see where the tires warm up. So don't turn the wheel too much. The car kind of falls into the corner. And I'm wide open, didn't lift. Try not to scrub speed. See what it's like. Next lap. Yeah, I can see where that would be a little disconcerting for some people. The car just falls into the corner and the steering wheel gets super light. I don't think that's actually out of the ordinary for this car, but again, we're not doing any setup changes. We're just kind of running whatever it recommends. So you just kind of got to be careful. It's going to get loose going into the corner. You can hold her on the bottom. You just got to be ready for it to wander. That's all. Obviously, you would give more space when you're running in a pack. I think this is fun. People need to realize when the car goes into the corner, when it gets light, don't move the wheel until it... Yes, you don't keep turning. You just kind of hold the wheel steady, wait for it to come to you. See, we don't hold it back end coming around. I could have actually lifted a little bit. Keep the back end from coming around so much. But I wanted to run high. See if we could run it high. Try it again. Wheels light. Hold. Lift just a hair. Probably have to lift a little bit coming off the corner. Yep. Just a hair. How about in the trioval? Same thing in the trioval. Gets a little light in the wheel. Yeah, you just lift just a little. There we go. I mean, the car's pretty stable once you realize don't keep turning and just lift. Oof. We're going to dive from the outside to the inside going in. Hold the wheel, lift just a hair. Car still gets a little loose, but that's all right. I like how much the car moves around. But I could understand how this is probably not very easy for a lot of people to drive. I don't know. I like it. It's even worse in draft when you're almost 215. I imagine so. But I think it's all relative. See, I'm used to a front end feeling this ambiguous. It's kind of like the sprint car. I don't know. This, this seems fun. 
Uh, it's probably a nightmare to race with other people, but it makes Daytona not boring. I like it. So you think that's default setup is that 70 should try it at zero or 10. Oh, that sounds horrific. All right. The assumption is going to have to be pretty careful going into this first corner. I'm going to assume. Uh, okay. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. little loose, not bad. Just lift a little. Oh, seems all right. Off the corner. Still okay. Two oh six, two oh seven. Uh, it's kind of like running the outside with the spoiler down like this. You just lift just a hair going in. Now, I don't know what it's like when the tires wear out. That would be the hardest part is coming off of turn four. Trying to not let the car wash out. You just got to lift a little. Oh, yeah. Hey, you just got to lift a little. God, I, I love how much the car moves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. You just work your foot. See, just a little lift helps calm the car just a little bit. I thought it was going to be more of a nightmare lowering the spoiler, but it's actually not bad. Again, I'm not driving in traffic, so trying to not get into trouble around people. But I think the person that can just be smooth and anticipate people losing their losing their shit with this car would be good. All right, now we're going to switch to... The other new car from 87, which is... Where am I at? Thunderbird and we're going to run the new track North Wilkesboro North it's not in the oval section brilliantly done oh yes it is right there look at how cool this looks That's really neat. Easy now. Yeah, Darlington would have been on the other side, right? I mean, theoretically, don't the Phoenix version, the old Phoenix version in here would have been the correct version. They they ran at Phoenix then, didn't they? That was a pretty good setup. Fairly stable. Just don't overdrive it. I like it. Track looks great. Car works well around there. I don't think Bristol would have been concrete. I think that's right. Racing schedule. Okay. Great car. I would like to see how a race plays out at a, at a track like this. I don't know how the racing would be because it would be fairly difficult, I would think, to pass. People would have to be really patient. But I enjoy the track itself. 
All right, so here we go. Talking Wolf sent me the schedule. So you'd have Daytona. Uh, looks like Rockingham. Richmond, and I think Richmond was the old configuration. It didn't have the D shape in at that point. Same thing, Atlanta would be next. I would say that didn't have the D shape as well. I don't think so. Uh, Darlington, that would have been the straightaway on the start finish line on the other side. Then North Wilkesboro, Bristol, I believe that's correct that it would have been asphalt. Martinsville, Talladega, Lowe's, Charlotte, Dover. I don't think Dover was concrete then. You got Pocono. You could run Pocono on here. That shouldn't be that big a deal. Uh, Michigan, I don't think, has changed much. So you could run the older version of Michigan. Daytona, Pocono, Talladega, Watkins Glen. So that'd be all right. Michigan, Bristol, Darlington, Richmond, Dover, Martinsville, North Wilkesboro again. Charlotte, Rockingham, Riverside. And then Atlanta finale is at Atlanta. Uh, Riverside would be cool. Appreciate everybody watching. You all have been great. I've been strange. Take care. And I will see you in the next stream.